welcome to another vlog. We are currently here in Moalba in Cebu where we're going to be spending the next month. We got here about a week ago. We've just been trying to organize a monthly rental but we finally settled in. We are staying at Altia Aparto. It's around 15,000 pesos and that includes electricity, Wi-Fi as well as water. This is what our room looks like. It's got the bed, it's got some drawers in there as well the kitchen and the bathroom this is the bike that we rented for two days it costs us 700 pesos and today we're gonna go chase some waterfalls We just got to our first waterfall for today and it's called Inambakan Falls. We paid 70 pesos each for entrance fee. We used to be able to go at the top levels but at the moment it's closed because the tour guide still needs to take accreditation. <laughs> so you have to pay environmental fee, entrance fee, and a guide is mandatory. It's now mandatory to wear a helmet as well. <laughs> Let's check. <laughs> There's a different route to get to the U now. Apparently the bridge was destroyed by Typhoon Odette. So it's going to be a 20 minute walk to the waterfall. Look at this babe! So we finally arrived at the Ulf Falls and there's like no one here. Super nice. Today we're gonna go explore Kawasan Falls and then we're gonna go explore some of the beaches around. We're just walking to Kawasan Falls now. We just park at the front. It was 50 paces and it's about 15 minute walk to the falls. The entrance fee here is 200 pesos each. After you pay, you gotta do a briefing as well. A briefing. <laughs> okay, briefing time. Okay. Play. Play. Good morning. morning. I'm Joanne. I'm Era. Then Tomo welcome to Bajan Kawasan Falls Nature Park. Kawasan Falls is a world renowned tourist destination. A multi tired falls with three major basins. Today, we'll be visiting Kawasan Falls only at the first level of the falls, and it's about 500 meters walk <laughs> from here. Look, they're still washing the clothes here. The option if you want to cross that way. <laughs> Unless you're doing canyoneering, you're only allowed to go to the first level of Kawasan Falls. We just went for a swim at Kawasan Falls, even Marvi went in. Um, they have changed a bit of the protocol since we are here last. You actually, it's mandatory to wear a life jacket so you couldn't enter the water without a life jacket. They've got a roped area, which is the only area you're allowed in and you, you have to hold onto the ropes. You can't actually go too close to the waterfall or underneath it. Um, 
I guess, more of a safety measures. We just put some dinangu, which is grilled banana. We're gonna go across the bottom bridge this time. Can I go first? We just at Vance having some lunch. I ordered the chicken affrittata and Kara ordered the chicken curry. We have just arrived at White Beach to watch the sunset. So we got the bike for a week and we're just gonna go to Panaxama and have some lunch. If you want another burrito or a bowl? We got the chicken burrito and beef with cheese wrap and jalapenos. Looks good! This is Panaxama Beach. This is where you can swim with the sardines over there as well as turtles. We're gonna try and do it sometime this weekend. Sunset at Panaxama. It's not much, very much. Lemon chicken? Excellent. Doing the sardine run. Run. Kieran went diving with them. We didn't get to see turtles um, because it was a bit low tide, so we're going to go back there another day. Um, but we paid 400 pesos each, and that includes the guide, the floater, life jacket, and the snorkeling gear. Um, but you don't have to do that. You can just walk down to the beach and free dive yourself if you've got all the equipment. And these are the little devils that's been waking me up every morning. So we just had Smith Cafe for lunch. I ordered the chicken shawarma and we also got some chicken curry. Been in Mobile for about a week now trying to get into a bit of a routine now sort of base ourselves. So trying to run a few days a week but also train sort of two or three days a week. I'll show you the gym that I've been training at, a bit of a local gym, so 50 pesos per visit. Okay? Okay, it's okay. Lama, thank you. Wait for your drink. Can you go, Mark? Ask if there's a road on the other side to go to town. We've just arrived here in Delaguerre. We're going to stay here for one night. Um, we're going to go climb Azminia Peak this afternoon. So, this is our room. It's 700 pesos. I 
wrestling. And we're just on our way to Osmania Peak. It takes around 15 to 20 minutes. Um, there is an environmental fee or entrance fee of 50 paces per person. And then there's a mandatory guide as well. So Osmania Peak is the tallest peak in Cebu. And it was discovered by old president Sergio Osmania. It's around 1072 above sea level. Tama ba? Yes. Part na yan sa badyan ma'am. Pero dalagit mo yung nag kuan sa entrance. So it's part of badyan. Is there anyone way up on way down? Pareho din yung pababa. Yes ma'am. Same way. Going up and down. Why sa mga? Why sa mga? We are halfway. That's easy. <laughs> Apparently it's nicer to do it in the afternoon because in the morning it's too foggy. <sighs> you can see Bohol if there is no cloud. Yeah, it's far away. Almost there na ma'am. Almost there. <coughs> That's the Maghetti over on the other side. Really? And then Oslo. Wrong yung sino na 1,000. It's actually 1,072. Oh, fresh air. Karen. You can also camp here for 100 pesos. And then there's also rooms down there for around 300 pesos per person. We have finally reached the top of Osmania Peak. We are in. Yes, we're going to go to the top. When budget traveling really feels like budget. It's two meters by two meters. Mosquitoes, mosquitoes everywhere. <laughs> this is what you get for 15? 14, 15, 14, 15 dollars Australian a night. Sweet broom skewered. <laughs> Bit of a traffic jam. We've decided to go through a different path through Allegria compared to the one yesterday. It was really rough, but even here it's also pretty rough, but it's not too bad. We're just waiting for the what do you call that? Machinery to stop. Excavator. Excavator. <laughs> waiting for the excavator to finish its job, which probably until this afternoon. <laughs> So we got back from Osmania Peak Delegheny this morning. We've just been relaxing and we've come down at the beach to watch the sunset.
Kieran was craving some pancakes, so I guess what we got? Pancakes. I got the Nutella and buttermilk. This cat that lives down the bottom of the partel has got two different colored eyes. Wow, you're so beautiful. Just walking down to the local bakery to get some sweets. What'd you get? So Kieran got the ultimate cheeseburger and I got the OG. Kieran's favorite dessert, mango float. What do you rate it? Six and a half. Oh, oh, seven. No, it's good, but it's mango. It's mango. It's mango. So we're just getting ready to go snorkeling at Panaksama Beach. Kieran's gonna dive with the sardines and we're gonna try and find the turtles that hangs around the beach. What are you so afraid of? Can you let the wasp out, please? Gosh. Quick, quick push, push the right one. Where pull is the, it? Pull the push the right one and go out. It can get out, yes. Wait, no, I can't. Oh, shit. Come on, wasp. Whoa, it's going to you. It's going to you. It's gone. It's gone. Okay. Good morning everyone, today we're going to go chase some waterfalls in Allegria. We're going to start off with Montpellier, which we've never been before. And then we're going to go to Camba East and Cancalano as well. So it's about a four to nine minute drive to our first destination. Hello. I'm sure there's another way to go. No, because it's not. It's closed. It's dangerous. Hello. Hello. So Montpellier is closed, apparently it's too dangerous because of landslides. So we're going to go try and check out Kalaha, which is just up there. We actually don't know where the path is, so we're just going to try and figure out where it could be. There is a water stream, so it must be around here. Oh my god, I'm so I think that's it there. Let's have a look. Oh, remember these, these leaves and then you touch it? Makahiya. We used to play with this when we were kids. So we have found Kalaha waterfall. It's not as impressive, but we're just going to go and try go up there and see what it looks like. Just be careful. How are you guys are total Ah! Looks like people were um, having bonfire last night here.
we're just walking up to Cumber East Falls. We didn't recognize the path at the beginning. It looks so different. They're doing some sort of construction there. I hope this is the right way. Look! It's a baby cow. You can see a house. And water stream, so I think we're on the right path. Tis is catching something. Let's see what he's trying to catch. No, no, Limo. Hi, what? It looks like a fairy forest. We just got here at Kamba East Falls. It looks super different to when we were here seven years ago. Apparently, most of the surroundings were destroyed by a dead typhoon. Still super nice there. There is another level to this waterfall. Um, up there, it's a bit deeper and I think symbol. Kieran's just flying the drone now, so I will show you what it looks like. This is going to be a fun part to climb. Okay. Huh? You climb. Be careful. All right. So this is the upper level of Kamba East Falls. So my new motto is just follow the stream and you shall find a waterfall. Sounds accurate? Excuse me, can we please go through? <laughs> no, you stop doing that. Yeah, but can you protect me please? crazy to see the impact that Odette has done to the landscapes and you know places here in the Philippines we are at Cocina Organica for lunch and you used to you used to be able to sit out here but it was destroyed by Typhoon Odette Kieran got the tuna we got the beef steak and then the rice comes in this little cute pot So we're just walking down to Kankalano Falls now. We did have to pay 50 pesos for entrance fee and then 20 pesos for the motorbike parking. Um, but the rest of the waterfalls that we went to this morning, we didn't have to pay any entrance fee. So this is the local bathtub. <laughs> and the local shower. <laughs> So there used to be a house here as well but apparently it was destroyed by the typhoon. Last time we came here it was just us two and just us two again. Wow. Just gonna go across the bridge, the homemade bridge. You can go first Kieran. I swear it wasn't that high up last time. I remember we got a photo there and then we also got a photo over there and then you could see the house in the background Woo! I'll do a head start because it's going to be very stiff
is. to the tallest waterfall here in Cebu. It's called Matayupan Falls um, and it's located in Bareilly. We're almost there. We'll just stop at this coastline but it's super windy as you can see. There's actually a few people surfing it. The weather hasn't been that great the past couple days. It's been raining um, but yeah we wanted to do something today because we've only got the bike for another couple days. There is no one here. We're gonna go at the top and go through the hanging bridge. Don't fall! <laughs> So we're just walking to White Beach. We had to pay 10 pesos each for the entrance fee and then 20 for the motorbike parking fee. So that wraps up our South Cebu trip. We went here for around three weeks exploring all the waterfalls and the beaches around Mawalbo. But yeah, thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed and don't forget to hit that subscribe button.